go. So I just came here and I used to stay in that door over there. Hello, hello internet, how are you doing? Good morning, right now it's morning and I'm coming live from western side of Kenya yeah, around the lake basin so I hope you're doing good and today is my last day in Maseno University so whatever I came to do I am successful and I just wanted to start this video when everything was well. So, in any case, you are coming to this channel for the first time. Welcome to Rosette Experience YouTube channel. Uh, here we just have passion for creating memories that never fade. So, um, on my, I traveled from Nairobi to Maseno to come and clear to collect my certificate so I'm successful and everything is okay and I've been here for three days yeah I came here on Monday and today is on Wednesday so by the time I'm recording this video is on Wednesday so I'm successful I finished yesterday and everything is okay so I just wanted to start this vlog when I've finished everything clearance and getting my certificate because moving up and down it's not easy and at the same time making videos it's not easy so right now I'm free and I want to start this vlog from this area uh, I'm in a hostel <coughs> so a friend of mine hosted me for three days from Monday to Wednesday and I really appreciate that my friend uh, thank you so much because I didn't pay for accommodation for the three days so that was a good benefit for me so um, I'm, I was staying in a hostel so right now I'm in a hostel, a student hostel in Masen University uh, he hosted me here so I requested him if I can do a hostel tour just to share with you guys how how students in Maseno live and also this is also an inspiration for me because I was also once in this kind of life I stayed in this kind of hostel so I asked him if I can give you a tour I can give my audience Rosette community tour of the hostel and they said yes why not because so many people come from this place and yeah they make it in life so in any case, you are watching this, I just want to share with you a typical hostel, hostel room of student in Maseno. And yeah, from behind me is a bed. And yeah, this is where I was sleeping. It was very comfortable, very comfortable. Yeah, this was my bed for the last three days. And now I'm ready to take off. So here is my bag, my small bag, my big bag. Yeah, there is where I was staying, and he was sleeping here. So basically, in hostels in Maseno, um, there are always two occupants. That's why there is a double bed, the upper bed and the lower bed. So when I was in my second year, uh, I had a roommate and used to sleep up and I used to sleep down so this video is just to to tell you just to tell you a typical life that I went through when I was in the third year so yeah this is a small study table here is where you can sit and do your assignment here is the calculator here are the books you know so as a student you must have a table you know you must have a table where you can you can do your assignment relax and also also a chair one chair uh, but us when I, we, we we had two chairs because we were two I don't know why they have one so there's a chair those are the bed 
so towards this side is the kitchen so this is a typical kitchen of a comrade yeah this is the life of student most of many people yeah this is the kitchen it's an open kitchen where you can just cook and your roommate is just watching so it's an open kitchen you know so this is the kitchen so yeah and this one is a bathroom they have a bathroom inside the room mm, a bathroom but the toilet is outside so this is just a room tour so this was my life when i was second year around 2019 so i just feel i just felt inspired by doing this video just to show my audience a typical life of student in Masena university so right about now i'm ready to make some videos and first i i want to take you guys because in Masena university it's the only university located along the equator so guys in this video i'm going to take you where equator passes in Masena university so stick around and watch the video to the end and also if i get time because i'm limited i just want to travel to up country the village so if i get time i will take you to one of the most interesting hiking hiking trails in Masena university so come along as we go together yeah so right about now i just want to take you where i used to stay in maseno so i want to take you to one of my hostel and show you around so i'm off the end of my stay and it's been amazing so yeah i'm just taking you to one of the hostel that i was staying it's called Green Valley, Green Valley, so, yeah. Hello. Jambo. Jambo. Yeah, so, where I was staying is just about down the other side, and, yeah, this is the, this is where my work was still and yeah this all of these things give me memories you know yeah. maseno university jambo so people here are very friendly you know comrades are very friendly and you know so Right about now, I just want to take you to the hostel where I was staying. It's called Green Valley, the typical life that I was living. And the room tour that I gave you is just the example of what I was, yeah, what life was. So, yeah. Around Maseno, it's very green, as you can see. Green environment. And one thing that I can tell you that most of students that stay outside, uh, they just live with the villagers. Yeah. yeah, the sun is up. It's around, let me confirm. Oh, there's a problem. I've just forgotten one of my property. My phone. I've forgotten my phone in the room. Oh, how ridiculous. So, let me go back and take my phone so that I can come back. Okay. 
sikuje usalimia watu wangu watu wako ni nafanya video oh ni video calls ah like mm. i'm doing what is called youtube oh youtube and i'm vlogging mm. so everywhere i go mm. i record my experience your experience yeah how people live in different places okay so right now i came to maseno okay and i'm just doing a lifestyle of how students live oh, student. everything the how hostel looks like yeah, okay yeah so that's what i was doing okay. and right now i came here on on monday okay so it's my three days stay okay. so today is my last day okay. um traveling back to nairobi nairobi you live in nairobi yeah okay. so what's your name my name is Kevin Kiseko. Uh, yeah, I am caretaker with Mwako Hostel. Oh, with Mwako? It is with Mwako Hostel. Oh, okay. Yeah. How much do you charge for one? One, one? room. Uh, 20,000. 20,000 for how long? Per semester. Per semester? Uh, semester takes around three months to four months. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Okay. And I really appreciate talking to you. Okay. Thank you very much. So I've just talked to one of the caretaker of Wema hostels and just told me that per semester they charge 20,000 Kenya shillings for a student. So just like in my hostel where I was staying, they used to charge me 20,000 shillings. So yeah, it was a, he was a nice guy and he talked to me very well. I really appreciate that. So let's continue with the adventure. Last day in Maseno and here we go. So stick around. I just want to go and show you where equator passes. So I'm told and not I'm told, I know that Maseno University is the only university located along the equator. So right about now let me go and show you where i used to stay so peace yeah i don't know if you can see that side that hostel over there that's where i used to stay yeah and this is how the roads looks like Long people are on the garden yeah basically the most people who are who are in this area are students so are mostly students so let's continue so one thing that i have noticed around here uh, always try by all means you don't get trouble with security whenever you whenever you come to Basen. So always keep calm and cool. Yeah, so this used to be place where I used to stay and yeah, it's called Green Valley Hostel. So I just came here and I used to stay in that door over there. So, yeah, it gave me memories. So I just wanted to show you guys where I used to stay and everything. So, let's continue. Saviranga. Careful, careful, careful. So guys, I used to pass here each and every morning when I was going for lectures. So that's why I know this, this footpaths. Yeah, I used to pass here each and every morning going for lectures and everything. So.
there's a river there's a river and there is the bridge so I know these roads Guys, I was planning to go to hike on that hill over there. So, I don't know. First, let me go to where Equator passes. So, maybe sometimes later, I can decide to go up there. I don't know if you can see it. That hill over there. That hill over there. So we used to go for hikes in that place. So after going to where Equator passes, if I get chance before going to Kisumu, I'll try my best to locate my way up to the hill. So first, let's go. Yeah. So let me tell you guys a story. When I used to go to lectures, it took, it always, it took me like 20, 20 to 30 minutes to go to lecture hall. Like from my hostel up there, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I used to stay up there then it took me around 20 minutes to get into the lecture hall so you can see whatever i was going through steep steep walk paths you can see the inclination of this area yeah I don't know if I'll manage to go to the hike. So, the next time that I'm going to talk to you guys, the next time that I'm going to talk to you guys is when I'll be at the equator line. So, see you on the other side. I'm really tired right now. I'm really tired. This road over there. So let's go. Near Jenny, could I short cut up? Ah, Uko Uko Kashule. Okay, so instead of going that side, let me take this shortcut. The quest for adventure continues. bananas this show you this show that the western side of Kenya is very green you can see very green and mostly students are the one who are staying in this building so 
this side is Maseno University and this side is Sumo. So I just want to talk to some guys here. Just go to the Let's go. Niaje? wengine wakiendanga shoot lazima wafai vizuri nini kama you're okay with that i can just take photos of you then i'll send you the best photos huh? is that okay so guys i'm heading towards the equator so I'm told this side of the road is southern hemisphere and this side is northern hemisphere. So let's continue, let's continue the adventure. Let's continue the, the adventure. Yeah. I'm heading towards the equator. Equator. Maseno University is the only university located along the equator, so... So... There's a guy who is, I don't know... He's talking to himself, just like me vlogging. So... I don't know how far I'll go, but... Let's continue. So, basically... This side of the road, this side of the road is Southern Hemisphere. Then this side is Northern Hemisphere. So, equator passes just along this path. Yeah, and this is Kisumu Busia Road. Kisumu Busia Road. As you can see, there are so many huge trucks because the border is just Busia border is just over there and this road leads to Kisumu and this one goes up to Busia border the border of Kenya and Uganda just a few kilometers from here and you are in Uganda so I mean the western side of Kenya and in this video I just want to to show you guys just where the equator passes yeah 
So we are almost out of seeing the sign. So it's just ahead. So let's continue. Yeah. It's just ahead. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Equator. So So guys this is the earth and equator passes here from the equator
Yo, welcome to Kisumu. Few minutes ago, I just arrived in Kisumu. So, this is downtown Kisumu, and behind me is a local park. Uh, so, in Kisumu, these are the types of transport, types of transport that they use, and I think that building over there is one of the iconic buildings in Kisumu. So, where I am right now, I'm in downtown Kisumu, and this is just the vibe in Kisumu, downtown Kisumu. So, let's go outside there and confirm if Kisumu is the cleanest, cleanest town. So, I'm in downtown Kisumu, I just arrived from the scene a few minutes ago and I was resting, so let's go and find out if Kisumu is the cleanest town in Kenya. So guys, this is downtown Kisumu, this side is downtown, downtown Kisumu, the lake is over there. And here is uptown. So let's confirm if Kisumu is the cleanest town. Kisumu 